everyone in Galpin Nation. There's about eight of us here right now. I think maybe a ninth one will be showing up too. And I, I like to piggyback on the other people's events so I don't have to do any of the planning. <laughs> Five foot, but I have a hundred and fifty foot cord tote, tote. Extra. extra. I have a okay. separate one. Got, huh? MacGy I travel with MacGyver. I should have thought of that. Inspector Gadget. <laughs> Inspector Gadget. That's it. That's it. So even though this, it doesn't have to be a gadget. You'd be amazed at what you learn from uh, sharing things like this. Because because we both have a same favorite gadget, and uh, so. But I learned about it from Jana, so she 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 is stealing one of mine. But this is my other favorite one, and it's just a solar powered. Uh, mo uh, well, it can be motion, but it's a solar powered outdoor sensor light. I can put it all week. Okay, right? this is a a day. <laughs> the light works. There's the reservoir. Put warm, warm water in it. Probably going to have to be warm water, but I like warm water. <laughs> Extend this. Turn it on. They are um, rinse-free family sponges, and they are not expensive, uh, relatively. Like they're under 20 bucks on Amazon. They look like this. You add a little bit of water to it, squeeze it up, and it gives you suds, and you can clean your body. So I have all kinds of configurations. I have 50 amp to 20 amps. This is really helpful for me if I ever go to an RV park. This is my can opener. This one's a P50. It's a little bigger than the P38, which is smaller. I love it because you just... Because it works. It's okay, awesome. Every time. A couple of different things. The newest one is 200 watt rice cooker because you can cook a lot of things in a rice cooker. I can cook a pancake in a rice cooker and it's awesome and it doesn't use much power. It's just like the smallest rice cooker they make. Basically. This is called Quakehold but it's earthquake putty. Museums use it to hold things on shelves. Um, I bought it actually for my diamond painting but then I realized I have one of those canisters with utensils in it. Stuck that down. I have a um, it's an Omnia oven. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I love yeah. the fan. And so when I want to bake cupcakes, cookies, cakes, or whatever, this is my oven. I can also do fish, salmon, steak in here. Cut the fish. And I bought this entire system with all the inserts because you can get these separate. It cost me maybe about $80 at the time. My gas is so little. You can it on the side of the top. And it keeps the pot from closing all the Okay, this is my gadget. It is just like a mini garden sprayer. And of course it does all the things you expect. Like you can wash your hands, take a shower, um, you hold it up like this, take a shower. Uh, Rinse out your toothbrush. I mean, um, it hangs or it can stand up. It's a light. This is my night light if I have to get up in the dark. Uh, and then it has a bright light. I read by. And you need to build, dig a cat hole, put your stuff in. Your cat. <laughs> your gray water. And she has a cat, so stuff. she has to put her cat, cat stuff in. So everything just works out. But you need both of these things. And we have five participants. Oops, I'm sorry, sorry, y'all. 
This is the cast iron cook-off challenge. We've got five participants. It's kind of got a Mexican theme to it. We got chicken enchiladas. Oh wow! Yeah, we got some goulash. Yeah, everybody's got to get a taste. Again, I am really excited, and it was really good. And thank you all for pitching in yeah. to make it a, a, a food for everybody. And that was a brilliant mm -hmm. idea, and I'm just great. That's what teamwork is all about. Yay, team! Yay! Woo! Okay, so here is how it goes. We have the very first place grand champion is number three. Yay! Yes! I did not even remember. So tell them what you cook and, and how and all of that, and she gets a $25 Walmart gift card. That was good. It. Yeah. I made a stuffed Mexican cornbread. That was good. Um, the bottom layer of cornbread is the batter. Um, I added cheese to. Then it's a mix of ground beef and peppers and um, corn. And I didn't have canned beans, whole beans, so there's refried beans mixed in there. Oh. And cheeses. And then the top layer has candied jalapenos along with the cheese in the, um, the cornbread topping. Mm -hmm.